Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales have come and gone. Yet the prices on some computer components are still pretty darn good. We're gonna take a look at what it might take to build a decent system today. The point of today's video, or rather the basis of it, is this. A friend of mine wants me to build him a computer. Now he wants a machine that is going to be a gaming machine slash browsing slash maybe some work from home type of stuff, but kind of an all around simple, not ultra high end machine, but he wants something that's going to work for a long time and will give him a good experience. He's also given me a budget of around a thousand dollars and quote unquote, that's around. So he is looking for value as well as performance. So he's not shy to spend a little bit more if he, he thinks it's better, uh, or if, I guess if I think it's better for him in the long run. He's also looking for a little bit of a look. So there are some parts that be maybe more aesthetic than just overall, I guess, uh, value for use, if you will, or practical, but he does want a certain appearance as well. So he does want to have RGB RAM and he wants some RGB strips in it. And he just wants a pretty looking computer that he can display on his desk, be proud of, and will suffice him for gaming and, and such. Now, we're going to <clears throat> hopefully price out a system that's going to be an AMD-based system as well as one that will be Intel-based. Now, I also want you to, in the comments below, um, tell me if you think I'm, I'm doing something that's a little not quite as to what you might think it should be. Example, if you think I'm using uh, a CPU that is maybe too much performance, but you think I can get a better value elsewhere, Go ahead and state it. I'm, I'm trying to find the biggest bang for the buck. So always open to comments. It doesn't mean that that's the route that he wants to go, but always open to them. Anyway, let's dig right in and see how today's video goes. So for the purpose of this, we're, I'm gonna be using Newegg, Amazon.com, and maybe a um, direct site or two. Uh, partially because one, I'm not just gonna take the whole video searching the entire internet for the best quote unquote price, but also I'm gonna use the places where I know that you get good service and the value is there. Um, so the first system I wanna build is, let's take a look at a potential AMD system. Um, I think we're gonna price it around the CPU motherboard first because if I'm budgeting around a thousand dollars, I wanna get that out of the way. Um, so my first thought is, let's take a look and see what the, um, oh gosh, let's see what Ryzen 3700X is costing right now. So it's gonna be around 329. Do I wanna use a third of my system on the CPU alone when I need to get motherboard? Probably not, let's keep that in mind though. Um, and this is gonna be for gaming mostly, but some um, browsing, how about 3400, 3400G. For 140, let's call it $149. I'm gonna write that down. So 149, I think the Ryzen 3400G should be a nice starting point. Now I did a build here not long ago on a uh, tough gaming, but I wanna see what kind of combos they have here. So. And they don't have anything really excited listed. Oh, they do have an ASRock. Um, no, he wants to have a kind of a mid tower build. He kind of gave me some guidelines as the case he wants to use as well. So let's take a look at what is the ASUS Tough um, X57 going for. He does want the Wi-Fi, even though the non-Wi-Fi version is a really good value at $165. Ugh. But he wants the Wi-Fi built in. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh, what do we got here? 3,600 combined. So if we do that, we'll be at 350 right now. If I do this, it's 395. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the tough with Wi-Fi. Oh, an open box. Now I'm better stay major. Okay, so we're gonna say the Wi-Fi tough gaming, that's $190. So right now we're at about $350. All right, let's find the case. He kind of gave me directions on case and I did some digging around on this earlier. I'm gonna go to Fantex 
shop.com store directly, and I'll show you why. First, um, well, here, shop. He was looking at the, that P, um, oh, what the heck was it called? The um, 400, I believe it was, 400A. Do, 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 the P400A, but he wanted it with the digital. Okay. We were looking at this one. The reason why is this comes with digital RGB fans already built in, and the digital RGB is something that's important to him, right? So we're gonna go ahead and follow, uh, fulfill that. So this is covering a tempered glass case, a really nice case. Fantex did a great job with this one. They might, they basically fixed their old uh, P400 by adding the front mesh, so that's actually got airflow now. So we're gonna do that. That comes with three fans. And that's uh, $89. So we're gonna appropriate that. I'm gonna show you why Fantex as opposed to Newegg. So fan text P400. Oh, no, that's not the, it's out of stock here. And this is the steel. Yeah, that's not the one he wants anyway. They had it on here for $160 previously. And let's see if it's changed on Amazon at all. Okay, so as we can see here, um, on Amazon, the 400A is at $95. Not horrible. Um, it was higher than that previously. And then on here again, it's at either not available or was at 90 bucks. But again, that would be fine. It was higher than that previously. So that's good that that finally came down to an, a, an appropriate price. But we can get it right here for 90 bucks. So I'm gonna allocate that money. Uh, next thing, um, hard drive. Now he said he wanted to start simple and he would expand it himself, so that's fine. So what we will do is look at a Samsung um, 970 Evo, probably a 500 gig. And let's find out where those are at right now. So it looks like $96, I'll just sort this by price. Ninety six here. Let's see what it is on Amazon. Five hundred gigabytes. Oh, eighty dollars, and it's fresh. Well, that means it's better, right? Shoot, that's a good price. Okay, so we'll look at that one. Um, you know, the other one I like, I do like the Corsair. Uh, what do they call that? The MP510, I believe it is. Let me see here. I just want to see. Brain going slow. Okay. M.2s. Let's see what the 510 is on here. $70 for an MP510. 70 versus 80. You not that concerned. I'm, you know, I'm going to stick with the Samsung. I think the Samsung's a better overall value, so we'll stick with that. All right. Um, power supply, or no? Let's get to let's get to graphics card. All right. So let's see what is the 2060 Super going for right now. I able to get everything in here though. Uh, lowest price. Debating between the 2060 Super or a 5700. Um, looks like they're in the low to mid 400s, mid 400s mostly, huh? So what are 2060s going for? Should be around 399 still. Hmm. See what the AMD 5700 is. Most price. That's that mid 300s. That'd be a good value. I, oh, here we go. Radeon 5700. That's a nice card. Strix open box. Looks like they're the mid. 
300s for, I don't want an XT. I mean, I'd like an XT, but let's see some here. No, I'm thinking the Gigabyte 5700 looks like a really good card. Yeah, let's do that. So that's $360. That's a good price. All right, so let's dig up. Uh, we're gonna need RAM power supply. Um, so probably 16 gigs. Now he did want RGB. So let's see what we get here for 100. Try it. Let's see what comes up first here. It looks like thing. Oh, here we go. 3600 kit. And the reason why I'm picking 3600 is that's a really good speed for the Ryzen processor. Uh, 16 gig, that's two modules. There we go, that's a good price, 80 bucks. Otherwise around 90, 100, yeah, 80 bucks. Yeah, that's a good buy. All right, and now let's see here. Power supply, let me see. How about, a, I really like the EVGA G3. I think in there, on that a 63. Apparently I can't type. So it looks like 130. That's a little bit more than I want to spend. I mean, even though it's a good power supply, I don't really want to spend that kind of money. Let's see here. How about a Seasonic? Probably uh, 750 from them. Mm, so that's a good power supply though. It's gold. So focus for 140. It's a platinum. I think that's what I want to do. So the PX. Yeah, let's look at that. The PX 750 for 140. So let's see. Where would that put us? Let's bring up our lovely calculator here. And if my math is correct, we're gonna have $90 for the case. We're gonna have 150 for the processor, uh, 200 for the motherboard. We've got the storage at $80, so parts supply at 140, RAM at 80, and then the graphics card at $360. So that gives us 1100. I would say that's a very good value for around $1100. Okay, so let's take a look at the Intel side. So first off, I'm thinking, this, well, how much is a 9700K now? Um, yeah, 400 bucks. That's just too much. I mean, that's more than what just the processor and the motherboard costs on the other one. Um, oops, okay. So uh, 397, okay. Let's try 9600K. There we go, that's probably a little bit more appropriate. 199. Okay, well let's see here. Let's see what Z390 motherboards are costing right now. And we'll do a lowest price search. Thing is you want a decent board. That's not a bad board for $130. That's the thing is now that the Ace or the uh, AMD processors are so sought after, their motherboards have come up, which has been the thing that's made them so nice and in, in so for so many years is that their motherboards were priced right, um, and just gave a good value. But now the AMD motherboards are getting more and more expensive. It seems. I really like this motherboard. I don't want to get into the Maximus lines, they're just too expensive. So for me, you could do a $150 motherboard for a Z390, but I want to have a solid motherboard. Problem is we get $199, we'd have to drop pricing on, we'd have to change 
graphics cards, and I don't think I really want to do, I don't want to go down in value on a graphics card. Let's see what's on this side. Well, actually, let's do it this way. First off, I really like the Asus um, BIOS. That's a big reason why I keep looking at those. Don't want refurbished. Don't want open box. Those are ugly as sin. No offense if you really like that board. I just don't. Here we go. The tough Z90 Prime. Again, not big on the um, yellow, but this does have Wi-Fi built in. That's a good value. So let's we'll say 170 for the motherboard, 200 on the processor. The only problem is, is the other one was 350. Well, that's only 20 bucks more. So frankly, and we could save that money in the RAM if we wanted to, but that kind of gives us a difference. I mean, that'd be somewhat comparable um, value for the two. So let's recap this. On the uh, AMD side, we're gonna have the Ryzen um, 2400G for around 150 bucks. We're gonna have the um, Tough Gaming X570 Plus with Wi-Fi motherboard because it does, he wants that. So that's gonna be $200 there. So you're talking about 350 for the combo of the two. Add the case for 90 bucks. And again, we're going with the Fantex Eclipse P400A. A couple of reasons. One is he wants the fans, he wants the RGB, he wants the look. This is a good case. It includes three really good fans, glass uh, or a tempered glass uh, side panel case. We're gonna put in a, the Samsung 970 Evo M.2 for 80 bucks, a 500 gig version. We don't need to go larger. He said he'll add his own. Um, hard drive in the future here. Uh, Seasonic PX150 or 750 um, platinum power supplies for $140. Yes, that's a little bit more than I wanted to spend on a power flight supply, but that's a really good power supply. It's gonna be efficient, good warranty. It's going to serve as needs for a long time. And, and as everybody knows, power supply is extremely important now. Um, driving clean, dependable power power to your system. So I think that's a good value. The other one would be the EVGA G3 750 for about 10 bucks less. At that point, that's six one way, half a dozen other. You take your pick on that. The Ryzen really prefers faster memory. So we're going with 16 gigs of uh, Trident Z RGB 3600 module for 80 bucks. And then we're gonna go with the Strix 50, I'm sorry, not the Strix, we're gonna go with the Aorus uh, Gigabyte 5700 uh, overclocked card for $360. Uh, so the parts will be below, uh, listed below. that's $1,100 build. It'll be a heck of a build for that. If we wanted to cut some money out there, we could definitely save it in the graphics card by going down to say like a 1660 Ti. I really wanted to give them a good experience. I believe that 5700 will do so. Uh, and then on the Intel side, we're gonna keep with the same parts. Maybe go to a 3200 speed kit as that processor isn't as reliant upon uh, the memory speed as say the AMD system is, but doing a 9600K from Intel and a um, uh, the Asus uh, Z390, um, the tough Z390 plus gaming motherboard, really good value. Again, I want to have a nice solid motherboard delivering clean power throughout the system, good for overclocking, so we can put a minor overclock on it, and he'll just have a really good experience for an extended period of time. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Um, you can get the systems now in about the same price range, whereas previous years, an AMD system would be substantially less expensive. However, it wouldn't have the same performance as, say, your, uh, your Intel system when it was always dominant. Now, AMD is really caught up. So uh, I think that's going to be a really good build for him to uh, go off of. Okay, to wrap things up here, two decent builds, some decent prices to be had out there right now. Uh, again, this is a concept of a friend wants to have a gaming system built for him that will be used for a few other things. Now, he's not looking for the most top-end gaming system out there, something that's going to suffice for multiple purposes, and I think this will do that. He gave me a budget of around $1,000, so I think 1100 is about that, and knowing him, he'll be fine with that. Um, but I'm looking for your input as well. Please sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I mean, 
Uh, Intel, AMD, give me a better build. If you see one out there, I'm more than open to suggestions. We're gonna get this thing built probably within the next month here. Uh, anyway, hopefully you liked today's short video. Um, there's some really good deals out to be had right now. So um, I think we should take advantage of them. If you did like it, hit that thumbs up for me as it does help. If you didn't, you know what else to do. Hopefully it's not that. Hit the subscribe button for me as it does uh, help the channel to grow. And we will see you next week. Have a good one.